Greetings, y'all. This is your elder brother, Black Light. Your 74-year-old elder to some and to others that's older, like Minister Farrakhan, and I would be considered his, his little brother. He's about 10 years or more my senior. But before we get back into the black man has no beginning or no end. And the reason why I'm trying to get you to wake up to yourself and tell you that you are the original man. Now, in order for me to do that, I have to use displays or, or uh, diagrams to show you what you've been, what we've been taught in school. And they don't want to change the teachings in the, in the scholastic uh, educational uh, institution because they know that they stolen who we were, who we are. Six thousand, little less than six six thousand years uh, when they came out the caves. Now. This one is going to be called brother to brother. Because brother, you got to step up your game, man. See, in the pecking order of uh, the United States and around the world, the white man is the chief. Then comes the black woman to keep you in check. Then comes the white woman. to keep you in check. And black man, you're the last one on the totem pole. Now, they're beginning to question this. See now, the books that they stole from us are not revealed to all the Caucasians. Because all the Caucasians, if they know the truth, some of them might not push the program. Now the Masons know, the white Masons know, the Shriners know, but they can't, they can't reveal the program. They can't, I mean, they can't tell the truth. That's why that sword, sword is uh, on their fez. So let's hear what this Caucasian has to say. This might take two or three videos to uh, line up before we get back into the black man has no beginning and no end. Just be patient with me. I have to go slow because I don't want to skip nothing. Let's open to Genesis chapter 9. As you're turning there, there is a real question that we need to ponder in our minds when we think about the whole notion that has been put upon us of this this uh, caveman world of these subhuman species, whatever they are, that lived and and uh, died grisly deaths all over. In fact, I was showing Bonnie some of the pictures of Lucy, you know, the the bridge species, the female that was found uh, along the Tanzania River Gorge, and her head was compressed and. The evolutionists were showing how a saber-toothed tiger had gotten her, and that's why there was compression. I thought, I looked at all the bone fragments, and there were just uh, about six of them, and I thought it is astounding how much they can get out of six pieces of bone. But all that aside, before we jump into it, 
The question we need to ponder is this, for whom and for what world did the Lamb of God die? You know, when John the Baptist pointed at Jesus Christ, the first event that is recorded in the ministry of Christ in Matthew's account, when John pointed at Jesus Christ, his own cousin, he said, Behold, the God-man standing there, the Messiah, Jesus Christ, is the Lamb of God who taketh away the sin of the world. What world? Turning 300,000 generations over 3 million years. It is the story of our progress from ape to man. See, black man, this is what you don't understand. This is what your woman don't understand. Because she's seen a picture of Jesus all her life. She never seen a black picture of, I mean, a Jesus of, she never seen Jesus as a black man. Even though it, it indicates that in Revelation, uh, she'd never seen uh, a black man in authority. Uh, so she don't know what a real man is, what a real black man, what he really is. Now, a brother like the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, his small statue, if he wasn't the messenger of, of Allah, I mean, even though he did get chose by a strong black woman, but nowadays, it would be hard for him to get chose by a so-called strong black woman because they're looking for a man with muscles, a man with uh, arrogancy, a man with uh, money. You know, no matter how he get it, uh, because on that money, all she see is dead white men. So even though a lot of black women say they don't, they rather have a brother, a brother that's trying to get into the white man's world. On Wall Street stock market or some brother you know that's got a good built look good in his clothes but trying to get next to to Uncle Sam a brother that's not trying to get next to Uncle Sam she ain't gonna give him no attention you know if a brother don't have a job in corporate America, he got to be a hustler. He got to be doing something. This is Black Light.